So um, today what I'm going to do is decompress GT main. I've been um, working on this quite a while and I think I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to give it a try. So basically, obviously, I have a copy of Gran Turismo. I'm going to be working on a PAL edition. And I've already imaged the disk and I have um, dumped the disk. So basically what that means is I have a dump of the CD uh, contents. And basically Gran Turismo seems to have... Um, I think is it four or five? There is definitely GTOS, GT menu, main and end. And this is some other main executable, I think. Um, so anyway, so I copied GT main to a folder with several attempts. Today is trial six. Hopefully this is the last trial. And uh, if we open Gidra, so Gidra, I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's this open source and free to use um, reverse engineering tool. Um, yeah, as an example, because I've done it many times. So if we open GT main, it's unable to decode anything or unable to reverse engineer anything except the start function. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> without completely, honestly, honestly speaking, understanding it myself, um, this code seems to, I think, be a LSZ-like decompression, and I tell you why it's LSZ is here. This, these characters. Um, I don't know if there's any way to view this data in another format, but. It will make sense later. So this, this string reads P S L Z. And um, there are these three references or let's say yeah values. Um, what Gidra's calling that eight zero zero six three BCC, which is this value, and six three BD zero, which is this value. So <clears throat> And some others, and um, yeah, with the help of some others, I figured out that this is, um, or they helped me recognize that this is some decompression algorithm, and I think this is the in the string where this is the PSLZ. This is probably some. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can see it. PCC. Yeah. So you see, that's this variable. I don't know how that's used. And the third one, this one, no, no, sorry, this one is, let's see, 3B0, it's used here. Anyway, somehow they're all linked together, but what I had figured out is that's the end of where the decompressed data will reach. So that's one of the key constants we need to use. So, and that's it. The program doesn't seem to have any other functions, right? Which is bizarre, even though it has a bunch of um, kind of code. So, the method, the tool, the process of making use of this is we're going to launch um, Redux and close Gitra for now. Yeah, and what we then need to do is open that binary. But before we do that, we need to set a breakpoint. And um, yeah, Gran Turismo will start at this location. This is where the decompression, I think, ends and it's about to then start running the game. So we set a breakpoint in Redux. We load the binary. So that means new binary trial six, and we all load main. We start running, and we'll stop there.
<clears throat> and even though it looks like nothing happened, it's actually already decompressed um, a bunch of code. So what we do is we then use Redux's web server uh, API. So it's going to do a CPU RAM dump, raw dump. And uh, we don't need to do much with that because we yeah just save it. So I don't know. Let's call this raw. Yep. And then what we're going to do is use a hex editor. Open that file we just made. So new binary trial six, right? And here's the trick. What we want to do is, um, yeah, we want to go to, so <clears throat> we previously said the program would run at eight zero zero one quadruple zero. And that eight indexing is in PlayStation RAM, I think, or PlayStation memory space addressing. So this is obviously starting from all zeros, address zero. So the address we want to jump to is over here. So rather than 8001, blah, 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 it's 0001, blah, blah, blah. And this is the start of the code. This is where after unpacking, the executable will start running the unpacked game. Now here's the here's the funky stuff. So if we open main, just forgive me, we could have done this in Gidra. So here's the string. You remember this 50534C5A? Um you know I was saying these are the three kind of um, reference values. So this is the second. And here's the third, 00380A00. So this is in little addion. So the address we want is actually 000A3800. And uh, yeah, I already typed this off screen so I can more easily copy and paste it. So what I'm going to do is edit, select block of length. Actually, it's the length, right? Not the, not the ending memory space, but yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? No, maybe my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So select block. Um, yeah, something went wrong. There is something wrong. A three eight zero zero, and we want to start at zero. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, I'm in GT main, sorry. So edit, select block, and here we want the correct lights. So of course, trying to do this on the un not yet unpacked executable would be pretty pointless. So we want that. There we go. You see, and that that pointer is actually the last memory address before the PSLZ string is. So this is the decompression related stuff and here is the decompressed executable or code or as it's I don't know what's in it. So anyway, so we want to copy that. We save it in a new file. So paste, save, and actually I don't know, raw bin extract. No clue what to call it. Yeah. So now here's the funky two. So we don't need this. So there's PSF lib which I think is some tool to make kind of PlayStation executables, but with the sole goal of playing music. And what we can do is, so this is the funky features. We tell it to make an executable. We'll tell it to load at this address, which Gran Turismo was going to load at. And here the address is in uh, PlayStation jargon. Um, because it's going to be used by the PlayStation, so it's PlayStation memory space. And here's the length, which was the length we used previously, the size of code that will be decompressed, right? So we do that. 
So we've set up the header now of this um, file. And then we are going to import binary data. We're going to select this extract we created. And we also need to import it to um, the correct starting place. So we need to make sure it injects it at the this address. And the only funky thing is here we have to use it, write it in hexadecimal convention, even though we've always been dealing with hex addresses. So that's it. And now we can save this. Save this as, I don't know what shall we call it. So, no, sorry, not save as. We want to export PSCXE. And we save it as, I don't know, GT main extracted or decomp, decomp. Cool. Now, here is where it gets a little, little funky. So, if we open this now back into the hex editor. It says Sony Computer Entertainment, North America, because PSF Lab, PSF Tool, I can't remember, what was it? PSF Lab saves every PS executable it creates as a NTSC U. So what we can do is open GT Main. Yeah. Um, we have to make sure not to edit the error um, addresses above because. Here is for here is the eighty zero one zero zero zero. Here's your, our starting pointer. Here's that um, text size which we used from earlier. So we overwrite that will mess up the executable. And actually, this is what I was struggling with. I was accidentally editing this whole block of code. But actually, what we just want to edit is, let's say, from here till Sony. In fact, Sony is, we don't even need to copy. So this is the original executor. Let's say Sony Computer Entertainment Inc. for Europe. So let's copy that. See? From, uh, I don't know how to read that, from 4C, I guess. Yeah. So, and paste. Right, not insert, because if we insert, it will shift data. And let's save this again with a new name. So decomp. Good. Now, let's open Ghidra again. Fingers crossed. I have not, I have no way of confirming if this is going to work. So it's a GT pal, new folder. GT main trial. I've been trying or erroring the method. I've been keeping um, all my attempts at decompressing this file separate. So let's see. Okay, cool. This is progress. No errors down here. Yep. Seems good. And just for completeness, look, let's put GT main in there as well. And we get a bunch of errors of out of memory and stuff. It, it just doesn't know what to do with it, right? So there's something, of course, the Ghidra is not able to understand what the decompression algorithm is doing. So here we're opening the decompressed PALI-XE. We're letting Ghidra do its own attempt at analyzing this binary file and there we go if we go to functions we have loads of unexplainable or not human readable per se functions so we got some functions with a human readable name okay it's still going still going okay i'm probably going to need some help with understanding what are these because they seem to be uh, mostly related to the SDK psych. I don't know what is 2.65 entropy trying to tell us, but yeah. But um, yeah, lots of progress. So if we go in F, which is I think what Kitra does for functions, it doesn't know. In 800, 
So in the, in the address space 8001, we got a bunch of functions. Okay, so this function, well, it's taking uh, three, no, two, three pointers to vectors and int, a bunch of local stuff. Hmm. Very interesting, right? So there's this, this, I don't know, this smells 3D mathy, but I don't know. I'm really guessing, you know, it looks, it looks massive. I'm wondering if this is the heaviest function. Um, let's see. So I'm a total noob. I have no idea what to do next after this. I'm just so happy. Wow. So this, this function again looks very similar to the previous one. Mm. Or am I just scrolling past? I don't know. I'm a total noob. So let's see what's here. Okay, this is some function that calls functions. Yeah, another function that calls a sequence of functions. I don't know. There's a return. I was wondering if this is the main loop. Seems to be on some main, some loop. I don't know. Stop callback. No. I'm wondering if there's something that doesn't have a return. GTE, I'll be doing some graphics related stuff. Yeah, so I think this is a part where people can spend, or what was that, a string? Sky file. Ooh, is there a sky file? So I'm wondering if this is one of the files that would be in the course of that or one of the other um, that files, which they themselves are containing the assets, I think, in a, some form of compressed format. And this is maybe search for sky file. Let's see, let's see. Maybe then if there's a sky, there's gonna be something else with other strings, I don't know. But it's pretty funky that we found a string, at least for Meteos. And it's giving me hope. So obviously we know in the game where the, where certain key variables are saved. So I have an idea of poking probe both ends, knowing which variables are being edited with things we're interested in, like the steering angle, using um, Redux to see what functions writes or reads to that memory address and then trying to look for that line of code in here and then trying to guess what that function might be doing but boy oh boy are there many functions here so it's um yeah like well someone as newbie as me looking for a needle in a haystack. So what is this one taking? Param one? Okay, so this looks like maybe a struct, right? That with these offsets, there are some values. I don't know. And of course, not being so familiar with C it does make this the more fun. Oh my god, so many functions to go through. So many functions. It would be cool if I'm able to RE this. Actually, reverse engineer it. Very unlikely. Probably we'll have to do a lot of side reading, ask for a lot of community help. Now I'm curious. We found Sky. Is there a search search? So if we type sky. No, so it doesn't find it. Let's see. Oh, all the fields? I don't know. Okay, it finds sky. Interesting. We type that file. Let's find something else. Ooh, okay, dot file, okay, two, qualify. 
Okay, this is pretty interesting, huh? And this is, I think these are the functions. Oops, Salah. I think, crap. So I think these are the functions that make reference to this. I don't know. Pit menu. This is going to be fun. It's definitely more interesting and already like, I don't know, it's not teaching me anything, but it's, it's way more contextual or relevant to, you know, just fun. 800250D0. That's totally nothing for me. Of course, with the printfs, we might be able to figure how to say with, with some functions that we know of are going to be found. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so here it says there's a printf. Hmm, something point space. Yeah, this this is interesting. So this would imply, I guess, Gran Turismo is dumping some text out to the terminal. So maybe if we if I can check on Gidra. Not on Gidra, in the emulation, read the terminal printfs. I can start to figure out, you know, what is param1, what is var one and, you know, start to work backwards, because obviously param1 is something passed to, to this function, so we'll probably know what is param1. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So yeah, that's all for this video. I think it should have been a short video, but yeah, it still became a 20 minute video. Hope this was interesting for other, let's say, I'm noob, so ultra noobs. And yeah, if not, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe.